Welcome back, you guys, to the Luis Experience, the show with the latest and greatest in everything in pop culture. I'm your host, as always, Luis. Now, last week, I did a review on Gone Girl, which had no spoilers at all. So, if you haven't seen Gone Girl and you want a review, be sure to click this link because that's the one that has no spoilers. And if you just want to be a rebel and watch spoilers already, then keep watching. So Gone Girl is directed by David Fincher, it stars Ben Affleck and Rosamund Pike and right off the bat I want to say this is Ben Affleck's best performance by far in any of the movies I've seen from him. I have yet to see the town so. Now David Fincher I, is truly one of my favorite directors. You can catch him in my greatest directors video I made as well if you click that. But anyways I love just the man's style, it's so dark yet he has humor enough to lighten the mood and I love the cinematography that all of his movies has as well as the music he chooses for all of his movies just does amazing work and Gone Girl is by far one on my top three David Fincher movies but anyways back to the movie though I'm pretty sure you guys already know the main plot of it is Nick Dunn, Amy Dunn, they're a couple, they meet, they, they get married things go worse and then one day Amy Dunn is just completely gone I mean she's completely banished I love the way Gone Girl portrays the way we actually look at things in real life I mean anytime you see the wife missing who do you go for it's the husband who did it so I love the way the satire worked as well with the whole news media and everything and the way he poked fun at a lot of things that you're like yeah that does happen in real life a lot that's just funny but this movie is just as dark as it comes and it's I think it's the darkest movie I've seen all year and I loved it. I completely loved every second of it, every twist, every turn. And the biggest twist and turn is how we found out that actually Amy Dunn was not abducted. She was not killed. She actually just basically pretended to be murdered, kidnapped, whatever. Just so that her husband can go to jail and get the death penalty. And why? Because he cheated on her. And that's just a scary thought. How... Like, somebody can, like, methodically plan something out and the media can really buy into it and really believe it at the point where they arrest this man and really almost have him go into the death penalty. Rosamund Pike, I mean, she's a complete psychopath in this movie and it's a brilliant performance nonetheless, though. I love the way she portrays her character. She's actually really, really smart and it's just a beautiful performance that she gives in this movie and... I'm pretty sure she's going to be nominated for an Oscar, it, and if she's not, I'll be totally surprised. I mean, I love Ben Affleck, but out of every single character in this movie, Rosamund Pike really, really did the best performance out of everybody. And also, you have Tyler Perry, who does his best performance, of course, of his career. This performance he gives off as Ben Affleck's lawyer, it's just perfect. I love the way he interacted with Ben Affleck and his sister. Whenever Tyler Perry was there, he really stole the show. Characters are so well-rounded and down-to-earth that you really start to feel bad for most of them and you really start to like have some compassion for Ben Affleck's character as well once you see how totally twisted Rosamund Pike's whole plan is and the way he suffers with his sister through all these struggles they're going through trying to prove his innocence and trying to find what actually did happen to Amy Dunn. So once the movie starts getting a little darker and more twisty it really starts picking up the pace though and I really love that. You start going feeling your heart race I'm not even kidding I saw this movie twice and I knew it was gonna happen but still my heart raced as I got to those really tense moments where you're thinking what's gonna happen is this gonna work for him is this gonna work for her is she gonna where's she gonna end up next all of this and just the music that goes with it is what adds to that suspense as well as well as the dark cinematography that's added it's just a beautiful movie all around it's really dark it's really twisted and you're just gonna be leaving what wanting more it's nail biting so you don't want to miss a thing of this movie it goes fast paced it hits you hard and it just leaves you in awe some of the scenes in this movie were amazing only gripes I do have with this movie is its third final act I really thought we could have cut about like 15 minutes of it there were some scenes that were unnecessary and just overdone a little more than they should have have than they should have been done and it made the movie drag a little bit towards the end like you're like already okay we know everything that happened it's all tied up now so nothing else so what's the point of us seeing these last like these these 15 minutes in between all these little things going on that didn't even like were not necessary at all for the story I think if the movie was cut those scenes out it would have been a perfect movie 
Nonetheless, though, Gone Girl is one of the best movies I've seen all year. Definitely give it an A. If you are going to go see it, make sure you go see it with as many people as you know want to go see it because it definitely will leave all of you talking after the theater whilst you're outside. So that's going to be it, you guys, for this Gone Girl review with spoilers. I'm your host, as always, Luis, and if you like what you see and you want to see more of my videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button right here. And you can also follow me on Twitter, MoviePilot, WordPress, Facebook. I'll leave a link for all of these things below, and you can also check out my other videos as well. And as always, my friends, stay positive.